Hello, if you are interested in how I created this style, please stay tuned. Today's crochet video is going to be on this Trendy Tresses River Curls hair in the color 1B30. They were kind enough to send me five packs. So initially out of the bag, the hair feels pretty good and I am definitely loving the color. How I have my hair sectioned, I'm going to start working with the front half. I'm going to make my side slanted part. And then I'm going to take the larger section and split it into two smaller sections. Now I did a slanted part because I want the hair to fall a certain way and I'll explain that later in the video. Once I tie this um, middle section, I'm pulling it as far away from my part as possible because I want the area around the part to lay as flat as it can. Now I'm going to combine the ponytails with the hair in the back and make two low ponytails. Then I'm going to plait those two ponytails and secure the ends of it with a rubber band. I'm going to pull each ponytail to the opposite side of my head and secure it with bobby pins. So I am going to be doing the braidless method for the very first time and I'm going to use a crochet wig cap. Now I'm going to apply the wig cap making sure that the U part section of the wig cap is um, centered to where my part is because that is where I'm going to do my cutout. Let's get into installing the crochet hair. Now with any crochet hair, it is important to detangle the hair before trying to separate it. What I like to do is spray the ends of the hair with conditioner and water. This will help loosen the strands. And once I pull it apart, it will be a clean separation. To get rid of the frizz, I'm going to shingle the hair, which is wrapping it around my finger in the direction of the curl. One of the most important steps in this process is to anchor the cap. I'm going to do this by actually crocheting through my hair and then under the elastic band. Now this is going to prevent the cap from sliding or falling off. Once the back is anchored, I'm going to proceed with installing the crochet hair. I will work my way up and around, um, and in doing so, I will also anchor both sides of the wig as well as anchor the section right below where I'm going to do my cutout. So this heavily threaded area that I have my finger on is the part of the wig that allows you to cut a U part in the wig without compromising the structure of the wig. So what I'm going to do is make sure that that threaded um, line is fully crocheted and I'm going to crochet that all the way around to the other side of my head and as you will see that line actually makes a U part and just inside that line I am going to uh, do my cut out. So I'm done crocheting my U and what I want to do, I want to bring the top section up some because I don't want my part to go that far back. So I'm going to fill that small area in. All right, so I've brought the top up to where I think it should be. And before cutting the net, I'm going to make sure that that elastic band and those corners are secure. And then I'm going to grab my scissors and cut my U part.
Now you want to make sure you leave a little bit of net. You don't want to cut too close to your crochet braids. So this small area of net that's left, I'm going to anchor it with a few strands of hair. I'm going to start installing the crochet hair where there is no net. Now I did a slanted part because I want the crochet hair to fall at an angle which will allow the top row to conceal the knots of the bottom row. Now this will allow for a more seamless and natural look and your crochet braids will go undetected. And here is a close-up of how the rows look so far and they are laying pretty flat and I'm going to continue that same method um, until I get as close to my part as possible. And then I'll move on to the right side. Also notice that I'm inserting the crochet needle from the top and pushing it towards my face. It is important when installing crochet braids that you insert the needle in the direction that you want the hair to fall. After about two hours, I'm finally done installing the hair. And this is four full packs of hair. It is a lot of hair and definitely needs to be trimmed. But before trimming, I'm going to lay my edges with some edge wax and then tie my hair down with an edge scarf. Cutting and shaping is very important because the cut is what makes the style. What I like to do when I cut my hair is to lean over to the side and basically what I, I'm trying to do is create a semicircle on the outside of the hair. So here I am leaning over and I'm rounding the outside of the hair off. Now this is going to create volume and um, give you some layers so that your hair won't all be one length. And I'm going to continue to cut some long layers in the front to frame my face as well as more on the sides and the back until I get my desired look. And also notice that I am cutting at an angle to avoid any blunt ends. Here is the final look after I'm done trimming the hair and I absolutely love the curl pattern. I think the curls are just popping and they are so pretty. And what I like most about the hair is the ombre. I think the hair color just transition, transitions perfectly. Because I was feeling myself, I decided to throw on some lipstick and take a few pictures. So here are some followed by the removal process. I have really been sleeping on this braidless method because I did not know that the takedown would only take literally five minutes. All I did was grab a section of hair as I'm doing here, cut the roots, and then pull the remaining hair out. And once you've cut all the hair and removed the roots, off comes the crochet wig in little to no time. But that is my time, guys, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will leave more details on the hair and the company down in the description box below. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below also, and I will try to be as responsive as possible and um, get back with you. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, and I'll see you guys later.